Hey buddy. Hey buddy. How are you? You hungry? Oh, look at these guys. This is the coolest thing ever. Alright, here's a female crawfish, guys. I'll flip her over for a second. Hey, Ninja. What's up, my G? How you doing? Still full from the last crayfish? Yes, guys. If you haven't seen the last video, check it out. My alien fish crushed a crayfish. Now, I have quite a little mess here. I have here... My crawfish that we caught with Lily. I have fire, fire crawfish spot. And then my pregnant one's in here with my plants. So I'm going to go ahead and start setting up the new tanks. That's that one. And that one. Hey, buddy. Hey, buddy. How are you? You hungry? Should we feed you in this video too? No, no, no. So I got him a little present. A little rock formation. So we can hide because the other rock was not doing it for him and people were complaining about it so I'm just gonna put this thing right down here remove this sand and that's his domain now just like that looking cool in there dude it's like it belongs there for you so you can hide under the little rock actually really pleased with how this looks it looks really good guys look at that oh man it looks absolutely fire so here is the location of the other tank, and guys, I know you've been wondering, do you recognize this guy? Hey buddy, come out to play. Guys, it's Phoenix. Guys, you, you guys forgot that I still have Phoenix. Actually, some of you forgot, and were wondering, hey, where's Phoenix? Where has he been? And he's been here the entire time. Now, I do feel bad now because everyone's getting new tanks, and Phoenix is still in the same one. So you know what? Stay tuned for future videos. Hey buddy, hey, because we're going to be getting him a new tank in the future, so stay tuned for those. For all the beta lovers out there, which I am a beta lover myself, stay tuned for those videos because they're coming out very soon. But here's the location of the crayfish tank. It's the 15 gallon flex. Let's go ahead and get the gravel in and I'm going to show you guys the final product so I don't bore you. Okay, Slayer, so I filled it up and this is the result. This happened really often with this type of substrate, the flora black. It gets cloudy because I didn't put a bowl on the bottom so the water wouldn't hit the bowl and disturb the sand. But it's alright, you just gotta let it settle and we'll be good to go. I always recommend guys to always wash your sand and substrate. It says it's pre-rinsed but they recommend you to always wash it but you don't always have to wash it to the T, okay? So now what we're gonna go ahead and do, go ahead and work on the new one okay guys don't be looking at my shoes these are all i had in the moment um after much rinsing for both the sand and the gravel we got stuck with this <laughs> so the substrate super disturbed i still have my plants here my crayfish here so um we're gonna go ahead and wait this out and then i'll go ahead and put in the crayfish but you know what the more i think about it I'm just going to go ahead and just cycle this tank and um, continue to do water changes in these buckets for both the plants and the crayfish and just wait until this completely settles and we'll just have to go ahead and make this two separate videos. Well, you guys don't have to wait, but uh, I'm going to have to wait till it's cycled and settled. So uh, see you guys in a second. So guys, after 40 days and 40 nights, we now have some sort of clarity. Now, it is not the clearest. Now, if I go above, it's pretty clear all the way down, but it's still a little cloudy. With the trusty help of my mind and polisher, we now have a clearer tank. I don't know why I didn't think about that earlier, but these, Lily said, hey, why don't you go ahead and use that? Talking about Lily, she should be walking through the door right now. There you go. Like I said, like right now, she should be walking in with our gifts. And we're looking at Ninja over here. He's looking awesome with his new decoration. What's up, bro? What's going on? You want to come up and say hi to everybody? <laughs> hey, everybody. How are you? So here is, is my tank. Now we're going to go ahead and finally look at our guys right here. We have everyone hiding in the little tube. This is going to be the community crayfish tank with our blue lobster. And our plants. Plants are right here. Plants. Plants plants and our beautiful women with her babies whoa 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 relax 
Look at that. It's so crazy how all the eggs just move around as she swims around. That's the coolest thing. So, without further ado, finally, I'm gonna take this out. And we're gonna go ahead and set up our tank. Are you excited? Yes! All right, I'm so excited for our tank for our Prego crayfish. Well, hello! Guys, we are back, but this time it's the 15 gallon. This one also has that substrate I was telling you about, and it's taking its sweet time to settle. However, this pump did not need the marine land, so we're doing a good job. Oh, another thing, I added extra um, filter pads to go ahead and catch the debris, so I don't mess anything else up. <laughs> I'm really upset about the substrate, but regardless, let's go ahead and move our guys from inside this bucket into our holding area. Come on, last guy. So we ended up uh, skipping the part when I showed you the final result of the previous tank because that is settling because I kicked everything up when putting the plants. So while we put these guys in here, we're gonna go ahead and let that settle, right? Oh, that's bright. Yes. All right, cool, look at these guys. This is the coolest thing ever. Stand still, I'm trying to get a thumbnail. It's beautiful. <laughs> How cool, right? Look at that. What an amazing little squad. So we're gonna go ahead and put each one, one by one, in, inside their new tank. This is gonna be absolutely flyer. Yes, I said flyer, not fire. <laughs> Shut up. I love this bonsai tree. It's fire. All right, so how about, um, do you wanna move them in? Sure. All right, let's get him and get it. Okay. Go, women. You got this. Go ahead. <gasps> Grab one. Guys. Come on. Okay, you taught me by the claw. Just grab him by the head. Oh, Grace. oh, guys, oh, we can him. we not fight, please? Just drop one in there. Enjoy. Ooh, okay, ooh, ooh, okay, ooh, ooh, ooh. okay. All Welcome right. home. That's one. I'll get Mr. Blue Guy in there since he is. Oh, he's gonna get so you. <laughs> All right, get him Sorry. last. Get him last. Get the other guys in there faster, quick. Quick, come on. Uh, Grab uh, him. Okay. Uh, I'm so terrified. Alright, two. What's doing here? Now, we didn't acclimate him because it's the same temperature water in the buckets. Yep. I made sure of that. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Just a little more finesse here. Come on. Woohoo. And you go Okay, you're an angry one. You're an angry one. Okay. <laughs> now you're just throwing them in there. Come on. That's the little one. Oh, oh this is looking so oh cool. Let's take a moment and look at this. Wow. Oh, fire. Fire. They All look right. so much bigger in this. And thing. the last one, our blue crawfish. I know, I know, I know, I know. Go. Just grab them. There you go. Okay, enjoy. Oh my goodness gracious. Oh my god. Look how blue this guy is. That color is so rich. So rich. Look at this cool little tank. I'm gonna take a flash. Gorgeous. Maybe you can appreciate it better without the flash. Look at this. Look at this, guys. This tank is amazing. I'm gonna go ahead and scrub it up a little bit later. But we have our little crayfish clan inside of here. That's amazing. Look at that. The blue is the ultimate leader, claiming his stone <laughs> that'll rock the bonsai tree. It's Mount Blue Lobster. So this is fire. Hello, my friend. This is awesome. Now to the planted tank. Hopefully it's settled. And there's our boy Phoenix looking bright, super red. Like I said, guys, I will be getting him a tank very soon. What's up, bro? I know it's been a while since you've been on camera. Hey, miss ya. Okay, guys, so a lot has gone down in the last few hours. So it's settled. And then I went ahead and I moved the plants around because I wanted to make it a little bit more appealing to us. And it didn't work out. <laughs> it actually made it cloudy again so we just gotta wait until this settles out but you guys have a general idea it's like a little kind of Egyptian pot and then my plants will be here and then you know what while we're at it let's uh, take a moment and I'm gonna go ahead and put our female crawfish female crawfish female crawfish all right here's a female crawfish guys her claws are all out I'll flip her over for a second so you guys can see the beautiful eggs Look at our crawfish babies, guys. Let me know in the comments below what we should name our crawfish mom here. So hopefully we get some blue craws. So this water is about the same temperature. Here's your new home, women. Whoa, she just flipped in. So she's in there now, and I'm going to go ahead and put this lid. You're not going to be able to see her at all. You kind of can from above, most likely. 
yeah you can see her so I'm gonna let this settle and I'll give you guys an update in the following video guys I hope you enjoyed this episode and all the ones that were coming out before that and the one after this and I'll see you guys in the next live adventure booyah